Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl, the Kayla B, and I am back with another tech video. So you know, last month I went ahead and I showed you guys the steps on how to become an account executive and how to make that 250K in tech sales. And I thought this would be a really awesome follow-up video for us to now start diving into some techniques you can utilize when you're on the job to help you get out of that SDR and BDR role, hit your numbers, hit your quota, generate pipeline, and then be on your way to becoming an AE. So if this is something you're interested in, today we're going to be utilizing LinkedIn Sales Navigator. That is the tool that I typically utilize at my job when I'm looking for new prospects, um, when I have an account that I'm tasked with breaking into, and I'm looking to be able to effectively communicate and find the right persona at that account so that I'm able to do outreach. Um, and then from there, hopefully, and we don't hope over here, we get that next meeting. So after this, you'll be sure to be able to book more customer meetings, have more insight into how to actually take an account, break it down on LinkedIn, build a sales list, build a lead list. We gonna hop right into it, all right? One thing that I wanna say though is thank you to HubSpot. If you go ahead and look in my description, there is a link there and we're gonna be utilizing 25 um, email templates that HubSpot gave. Obviously I won't use all, but what I think would be really cool is if you go ahead and download the templates now, because as I go through this live demonstration, you'll have them downloaded. And if it's something that you're following along, which I suggest, you'll be able to plug right in. But thank you to HubSpot for the sponsorship on this video and working with us, giving my followers more resources and tools to really accelerate their sales careers. And if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and hop right in. All right, guys, so let's hop in. So what we're looking at is my LinkedIn homepage, right? And if you have um, Sales Navigator, you'll find up here to the right hand top corner, a Sales Navigator button. So let's go ahead and click there. And before we just get started, I do want to just remind you to go ahead and download the email templates um, to follow along so that you can see where I'll be getting the templates for outreach today. So like I said, we hit Sales Nav, hop into sales nav and here we are so hmm what account do i want to do i think how am i feeling today hmm okay let's do starbucks i don't drink coffee but that was just the first thing that came top of mind so let's say that i'm a bdr sdr and i'm tasked with being able to find a company contact at starbucks and let's say that i currently work for um you know, a tech startup and the goal of this would be for me to be able to tell Starbucks about a new software that can help them track and manage their coffee cups and all their inventory internally. Let's give it a go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the name Starbucks and this is where we search for accounts. So we just went to the top. As you can see here, there's a lead filter and an account filter. So what we're gonna be doing and what I like to do personally is create a lead list. What the lead list does is it's able to help me target the decision makers. So as you can see here, we have decision makers and why I like this button is because there are over 100,000 employees that we may be looking to find. Imagine trying to find five people out of 100,000. We can go ahead and what Sales Navigator does is it goes ahead and it reduces that to what the software thinks is a decision maker. So how do they base that? Off senior seniority level, which is your director, your VP, your CXO. Um, so, okay, we said that we're doing operation stuff. So maybe like cups and things like that are a part of the operation of Starbucks. So let me go ahead and add in um, for the role, um, maybe a manager, we want to add that in and yeah, that's cool thing to find is see all filters. And what we want to do is add in job title and let's go ahead and put in operations, specialist, manager, director of operations. These are all the people that we are looking to find. So operations manager. And what I want you to think about during this process is the fact that I said, we are looking to put this solution at this company. They have this business challenge and we're looking to contact this particular persona. Why did I go for the operations manager or the operation or director of operations? It's because I'm specifically targeting a solution that can improve their business, help with their KPIs and make them more successful at hitting their bottom line, reducing costs or whatever it is to drive value there. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put the operations manager, director of operations, and then let's put one more operations specialist in here. 
So as we can see that, we're gonna go ahead and collapse these to the right, but as we can see, this now puts us at a place where we have 643 results. Why that's important is because we're trying to narrow down the person that we are looking to contact um, by specific things that you would have knowledge of. But um, yeah, 643 results is what pulls back. So let's go ahead and add these people and build out a list. So that way we can track all the people that we wanna contact, see and make notes on how many times I've reached out to them, what were the dates, add them as a LinkedIn connection. We have the power to build a list, stay organized, and then re continuously, um, continuously revisit that list so that we're in a place of being able to prospect more effectively around a cadence. And a cadence means we'll be doing multi-touches. So we don't wanna just contact this person one time. Maybe they may not answer. We wanna do at least three to four touches with this individual, whether that's an email follow-up, a phone call, or just being able to go in here and add them to the list and communicate with them through LinkedIn in mail. That is a really effective and important step in being able to track your cadences in the future. So like I was saying, let's go ahead and build this list. So we're gonna build a list with the director of operations here, Lee Bradley. Um, we're gonna also do maybe director of operations store technology, perfect person that we want to contact. Um, digital customer experience, so store technology, what's being utilized in the store. Really great person, digital operations manager, director of operations. There's a ton of people. So let's just grab about five people and save to a list. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna title this list and let's just say it is Q4. Let's go say it and say Q4 Starbucks targets. And we're gonna add a description here and the description can be um, people to target for operation solution internally. So we're gonna go ahead and create and save that list. And then we're gonna to go to the top and click leads. Now, this is where you can see I build out typical lead list for my account. So let's go in here and click Q4 Starbucks targets. Now I have the capability to see their geography. So, you know, maybe I'm managing a territory on the East Coast. I may not want to go for the greater Seattle area because she may manage things on the West Coast. So I'm going to go ahead and select maybe the director of operations in New Jersey or Miami or uh, yeah, those are two really great people. We even have someone in London. So I'd probably take him off the list unless I'm dealing with an international customer. Um, um, you definitely want to match the personas to your territory or where you're mapped to um, to you know sell the solution. So let's say that we're going to just choose Jose right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a note here um, and just say, um, dismiss this real quick. And let's just say KB, I love to put my name just so if I'm working with other people in a group or organization, I know if I did the outreach, I know if someone told me to outreach. So I typically just put my initials and say KB. And then what I'm going to do is put um, first touch, first touch. And today is April 19th. So I'm going to put April 19th. And then if there was a solution play, so operations solution play. And I am super organized, guys, like this, because what I want to do, and you want to make it private, but what I want to do is I always want to be accountable so I can see the date added, activity, outreach activity, no activity. So we can go ahead and just send a message to Jose. And this is where we're going to utilize our templates. This is our first touch with the Jose. So um, let's go ahead and download all these templates. You're just going to click download right there. And we're going to open up these email templates. And as you can see, uh, HubSpot provided 25 proven sales email templates. And they even did really cool things in here, such as give us a template and then explain what the email does well. So if you just take a little bit of time to read through these, they even give us practice scenarios so that we can understand how this email can be utilized. So, um, you know, I want to go ahead and copy this into our LinkedIn sales nav. And I am gonna go ahead and copy this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, hi, Jose. I'm writing in hopes of finding the appropriate person who handles 
And what we can throw in here based on the scenario that I gave is handles, um, you know, the management of technology solutions as it relates to, you know, um, let's just say something like, I'm writing in hopes of finding the appropriate person who handles the management of technology solution as it relates to tracking and managing products that you have in your Starbucks locations nationwide. I also wrote to, and then let's just say that we sent a message to someone else. So Thomas, Thomas, in pursuit, in that pursuit, if it makes sense to talk, let me know how your calendar looks. One thing I will say that just is a cool tip for me, instead of giving the customer the opportunity not to respond and book a meeting, if you do have a booking link, go ahead and say, or put that booking link right in here saying, let me know how your calendar looks. Um, here's my availability. If it's easier, just choose 30 minutes with me. Works like a charm takes the pressure off the customer to go look at their calendar and coordinate, and then you don't have to go back and forth as much. That's just a tip that I use, wanted to throw that in there. Um, if you are the appropriate person to speak with, what does your calendar look like? Templates are flexible and you can build on them. So let's just go ahead and add in something else that I wanna do. What I like to do in my emails is add value. So, you know, I would say we have been working with other, um, you know, food service, uh, companies just like Starbucks and we have helped them save a tremendous amount amount as it relates to understanding store inventory and cutting cost around any excess we have been looking to work with other food service companies just like Starbucks, and we have helped them save a tremendous amount as it relates to understanding store inventory and cutting costs around any excess, um, around any, and cutting costs with their bottom line. I like that a little more, right? So if you are the appropriate person to speak with, what does your calendar look like? If not, who do you recommend I talk to? Thanks. And then I would just go ahead and enter my signature here. I'm not going to put that up just because it has some personal information with my job. But um, yeah, the subject. This is the most important part because we want Jose to answer the email. We want him to open it. And it's, he's flooded with tons of emails every day. So what we need is something short, catchy, and very powerful in how we're connecting with him. So something I might put is your new account team member introduction. That's a really good one because I'm trying to introduce myself for the first time. He may not think I'm trying to drive anything from a solution perspective. He may just say, okay, they're new to whoever's company's account. Let's go ahead and, and set up that meeting with them. But another cool one that you can think about adding in here would be um, something along the lines of reduce bottom line operational cost, cost with and let's say the name of the solution was um i don't know like coffee counter i don't know boom you know i'm just making up a name guys so bear with me <laughs> but yeah um let's just say the name of the solution or software we were saying was coffee counter and it could count all the cups and inventory that's in in the store so now we have a really catchy and powerful uh title which is short to the point we have a really great template for our first touch we've customized it we've edited the names we've double checked it proofread it and now we are going to be able to send if this connects to a crm like salesforce or msx that you're utilizing go ahead and click log to crm since this is actually connected to my real job y'all i'm not going to log this to the crm and i'm not going to uh, push send on the email but i just wanted to walk you through how i go about thinking about finding the right persona, thinking about building a list on LinkedIn, and how do I effectively start a cadence 
around this. So once I send this message, this outreach activity would update and it would say in mail. Let's say I decided to just connect with him, right? We want to go ahead and connect. I want to add a really powerful connection note. Hi, um, looking forward to connecting. I have had tons of success helping companies operationalize their inventory processes. Hope to do the same. Something like that. Or maybe you wanna say something more personal, like let's go to his page and maybe find a really cool tip about him. Maybe he just started. So he's been in this position for 11 months. Maybe we wanna just go ahead and connect and say, hi, Jose, you know, um, would love to connect with you. Congrats on becoming the director. Congrats on your first year in being the director of operations. Something a little more personal, right? But you guys get the gist. So with that being said, I hope that this video was really helpful. Um, I do want to thank HubSpot one more time for helping us utilize these templates and getting a more Build effective those way for us to get, get into prospects, LinkedIn sales Think about navigator. the strategy around how do we actually take the problem and the challenge internally with the solution that we sell, target a specific customer, and then round that off by beginning our cadence with these amazing templates that they've provided. If you guys want more videos like this, be sure to hop in and check out all my other tech videos, but definitely comment, like, and subscribe if you want more tips and tricks on how to accelerate your sales career. I also have some links below. If you are looking to be able to get into becoming a BDR and SDR, I have really cool boot camps down below that you can join. I also have, if you are already a seller, a boot camp around how to like really close and take your sales skills to the next level. And if you're just interested in any other areas of tech, I do have the plug to boot camps below. Be sure to look for those discount codes and make sure you download these templates for your next prospecting activity.